Geofolia is a simple, effective way to record your crops and cost of production. Geofolia has a dedicated app that works in conjunction with a PC. On opening the app, your farm immediately appears to you in a map format. By selecting a field, my field name appears at the bottom, the crop within the field, how many activities have been completed on the field, and the last date of application. I'm also shown my area of the field. By pressing the black plus button, I can create a job. The job list is user defined on the PC and is imported via 3G. If I select spraying for this example and select my top bar, I can see my job, the date, the total time, the start time, the finish time, and I can see whether the job is planned or completed. If I have a job already created, I would come in to here to change it to completed. By going back, I have my field name. I can add an input, which links me to my chemical list or my seeds or fertilizers. I can add a member of staff to complete the job or more than one if required. I can add the machinery that is required to complete the job. If I select activities log, I can see my list of jobs and whether they are planned or completed on my phone. I can filter on this too, so by calendar, by farm, by crop, by fields, a date range or a member of staff can view just their own jobs if needed. I'm also able to filter by activities. If I view my input stocks, I see exactly what is in my chemical shed, but this can also work in a negative figure if required, so you are not held waiting for the invoice to appear to be able to complete a job. Once jobs have been completed, by clicking the refresh button up the top, this then links, as I said before, via 3G as a minimum, back to the PC, so you do not have to spend time going back into the office to complete your jobs. Geofolio opens on your farm map. You are able to import this from the RPA or other methods as long as they are shapefiles, quite simply and quickly. If you wish to draw your fields on, you go to the green plus and select main field. By clicking points around the field, you are able to create your boundaries and adjust accordingly. If I select validate, I can enter a field name, select the farm I wish it to be associated with, and the town and village should populate itself. And by selecting OK, that is all the information I need to create a field. If I select that field, I can add a margin to the field quickly and simply. By going to cut, cut according to contour, the outside of the field is highlighted blue. I can add a six meter margin and that creates that field. I validate this and I can rename my smaller section. If I wish to merge those fields back together the following year, by pressing control and highlighting both fields, I can go to tools, merge, check my field name is correct and select OK. I can split the field in further ways by, by doing it by line, if required,
I'm also able to cut it according to edge, so I could put a margin on one side of my field if needed. Or I can use the tab at the bottom to enter my field name, map field number. My area is shown for me. I can enter soil types and whether it needs to be linked to a sector. So you can group several fields together and report on that level. By going into crop, I can have two crops if required. I can enter my crop, my variety, my target yield, and when completed, I can enter my actual yield. I can either enter my planting date here, or I can adjust the bar. I can also enter my harvest date, my destination, any residues, and any regrowth. By selecting history, I can see the previous cropping and the actual yields I have recorded. Any environmental factors can be shown, so, so excluded for boreholes, etc. My holding reference number. By selecting activities, I can see what has been completed within the field. And by hovering over the three coins at the end, I'm able to see what that job has cost me in the production. To enter an activity for a field, I select the field I want to add the activity for, or I could select multiple activities. I then have the option to drop down and use the main menus, or by double clicking on the red tractor, I have my full activity list. For this example, if I use fertilizer spreading, I can see the date that the job is going to be or is planned to be completed a start time, an end time, a total time, and whether it is planned or completed. I could also add comments for the job if required. By using the plus and the minus button, I can add further fields or take fields away. If I select an input, I can enter Night Tram, for example, and because of our link with Agribase, and it will tell me how much fertilizer I have, I can select it. I can select a rate to apply it by, which automatically fills in my quantity, or I could enter a quantity if required, which will then amend my rate per hectare. I can also enter the amount of nitrogen I wish to apply. The activities log, is the list of my jobs which has been created and I'm able to select jobs and complete jobs from the PC. I can see the cost of the job very easily. The report side of it produces a work plan if the app is not available and you can have this in a plan or a sheet for further details. We are also able to import agronomy notes so that you don't have to re-enter all the recommendations from your agronomist. The nutrient management plan records is a simple and easy process to be able to build a portfolio of your fertilizer application. You are able to enter your nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, calcium, magnesium and sulphur for either your crops or in one go or per field. By using the tab at the bottom, I can see my last few years history, the environmental aspect, the analysis of my soil structures, etc. And I can enter my rates individually within here too. I can also see my list of activities, or I could create a fertilizer plan for that field from within here. By building these requirements, it then comes through when applying fertilizer, as well as farmyard manures, 
and takes those into consideration to meet your requirements. By going on to Harvest, you can enter your sales invoices. Harvest Products and Stocks will give you a detailed report of what you've sold and how much you have sold to each of your clients and of what varieties and of what you have left in stock. The inputs are managed within the system quickly and simply. You have your chemical list, your seeds list and your fertilizers. By clicking on inputting an invoice, I can have my list of invoices that I have received and I can amend and update invoices or enter quickly and simply. The input prices and stocks is your full list. I can have all of my farms showing if I wish or I can have my selected stock centre. I can see all of my fungicides, my herbicides and my seeds within this portfolio quite easily. And I have my initial stock which is taken from the previous year's stock when you started that crop year. The invoices that have been received, the products that's been used, any inventory corrections that have occurred and your final stock value. You are also able to create your own crop year 2020 unit price for that year for clients etc. You have your average price and your final stock value. By clicking on farm you can set your equipment along with its costs and your employees and their costs. Taking all this information throughout the year, you are then able to put costings to your farm. By clicking on the pie chart, I'm able to view a quick breakdown of the cost for that production. The net margin of minus 495 means I have not sold any of this crop. By clicking home I can see my actual yield off the field. The last activity was the harvesting. The last application which would also give you a safe harvest date or the actual harvest date. I can see how much fertilizer I applied within that year and I get a simple pie chart of my expenses for the cost of production for that year. I could also select my dashboard which is my second method of reporting where I'm able to see my crops, my hectares for my main crop and my secondary crop if needed and my total hectares for 2019 compared to 2018 in this example and whether I am up or down in production. I can see my production costs by crop or my cost of distribution and I can have this in area or in tons. With an activities comparison, I can see how much I have spent per crop, either by variety or by crop. I could also view this in time or cost. I can view my harvest sales from within this and see how much I have left in stock. And by clicking crop rotation, I can see my crop distribution for the year and also my six year yield progression for my varieties to see whether my crops are performing consistently or increasing. I then have further reporting, my third level, where I'm able to produce my reports for traceability, 
fertilizer comparisons, my list of activities, and my marginal costs to worksheets by field, by variety, or by crop.